Uluwatu. Uluwatu is located in the southernmost part of Bali. It boasts beautiful cliff beaches and dramatic views of the coastline and Indian Ocean. We're spending six days here, and this video is a quick compilation of the beautiful spots and coffee shops we visit during our stay to give you a glimpse of what Uluwatu has to offer and hopefully entice you to explore this part of Bali yourself. Let's hit the road! On our first morning here, we rode to Suluban Beach. Our first taste of the beaches in Uluwatu, this beach is different from all the other beaches we've been to. To get to the beach, we have to climb down the concrete stairs built on the side of the cliff. At the bottom is a small shaded cove, and then the ocean opens up before us. The beach is sandy and rocky, and most people you see are there to surf. We think the view is breathtaking. In the late afternoon, we rode to Karangboma Cliff, a popular spot for sunset. The cliff rises 97 meters above sea level and offers a great photo spot, like you're at the edge of the world. This is one of those moments we wish we had a drone to capture the dramatic landscape from above. The next morning, we checked out Malasti Beach. The road to this beach is very wide, well paved, well maintained, and takes us right to the beachfront. Not much climbing down involved. This beach is mostly for swimming and relaxing, not water sports. The beach was quite empty too at this time of day, so we get to enjoy a serene walk along the beach, serenaded by the waves. Another beautiful spot we visit in Uluwatu is Balangan Beach. Another one you need to climb down to, this beach features a gorgeous stretch of golden sand between limestone cliffs. The sea is swimmable, with a strong undercurrent, as Arnold experienced. I, on the other hand, prefer to lounge in the parasol-shaded beach beds for rent. If you're just here for the view, you can also enjoy the beach from a nearby cliff. This is where the locals gather for sunset. From the cliff, you have a great vantage point of where the golden sand meets the fast blue ocean. How gorgeous is the turquoise water! The road 
to this next beach is quite scenic. Once you get there, you can choose to climb down the cliff on foot or take a shuttle. We chose the former. This is Gunung Payung Beach. There weren't many visitors and tourists here, so I guess it's not as well known as other beaches. According to Arnold, the water here is quite calm, great for swimming and kayaking or canoeing. There were constructions nearby, so maybe in a few years' time this would be another popular spot too. For the coffee enthusiast, our first coffee spot is Suka Espresso. When we were there, it was packed with the breakfast crowd. We were only there for coffee though, and they accidentally mixed up our coffee orders. So we can't honestly review the coffee, but they gave us a nice chocolate chip cookie, which was a treat. How about that? Morning, we stopped by a small coffee shop, Itu Aja. Run by a lovely couple, this is a cozy spot to sit, sip your coffee, and watch the world go by. Refresh Coffee is known for their coffee and pancakes, so of course that's what we were there for. This next spot, the Fernine Coffee, is quite special. It has a perfect 5-star rating on Google, and once you try it, you'll know why. The friendly barista treats you like a friend, and takes the time to ask about our coffee preferences to brew us the perfect cuppa. Saving the best eatery for last, Tarabel is our favorite cafe in Uluwatu. Frequented by many locals and tourists alike, their coffee and breakfast sets are very delicious and affordable. They are also well known for their donuts but we think they were just okay. And that's the highlights of our stay in Uluwatu, everyone. People say Uluwatu will be the next hip area in Bali. The next Changgu, they say. But for now, it's still relatively quieter, pristine, and more peaceful. And we loved spending some time in this part of Bali. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next in Ubud.